Good morning, I'm Dovi Segev, the CEO of Valentis Nanotech. As Nitsa said, we are developing advanced coatings and compounds. On your left is uh, the old familiar packaging we all know from our houses. The pouch on the right is a growing trend in packaging industry. It's actually flexible packaging with advanced properties. Consumers want green and transparent and something that will look nice. Manufacturers want to reduce cost and extend shelf life. So how does it work? Valentis platform technology will enable packaging industry and other industries the potential for new improved materials. Our technology combines two super materials, each of which has its own unique advantages. Cellulose nanocrystals, CNC, are a part of cellulose, an abundant natural material that comes from pulp waste. CNC is strong, lightweight, thin, transparent and eco-friendly. Nanoparticles can add important properties such as gas barrier, spectral control, antibacterial and texture control. Valentis Nanotech's know-how and IP enables us to combine these two super materials into a better wonder material. The problem with nanoparticles is that they tend to stick together while processing them and then they lose part of their desirable properties, making them inefficient. The Valentis technology solves this problem by using the CNC as a carrier for the nanoparticle, dispersing them evenly in the CNC. Our process maintains the desirable CNC properties while keeping nanoparticles efficient. Our platform can be tailored to provide features for specific industry needs and manufacturing processes. For example, for producing aluminum-free, transparent, flexible packaging that will be thinner and lighter because it will have fewer layers, it will be greener because it will have no aluminum in it, and it will offer high-end performance at a lower cost. Valentis technology offers benefits for a wide variety of applications in very large markets. Our first focus is on food packaging and agriculture. In our first year, we demonstrated several of the desirable properties of the technology, such as increased strength, reduced thickness, showed oxygen barrier and UV control. Why is UV so important? UV deteriorates food. And therefore, consumers' willingness for transparency is in contradictions with the manufacturer's need to extend shelf life. What have we shown here is in this graph is a variety of tests that we have done with several combinations of CNC and nanoparticles. Our goal was to minimize the UV penetration while keeping transparency. And what you can see in the graph is that we are actually able to give different ways of blocking UV while keeping transparency. On the business side, we have a cooperation agreement with a company in the agricultural product market and are working with the company in the food packaging industry on industrial processes. These relationships continue to expand our know-how and helping us to move towards products for different markets. We receive initial revenues based on our business model of strategic partnerships and we are in discussions with several global players in the chemical and food industry regarding future applications. Thank you very much. Are there any uh, regulatory hurdles around nanoparticles and what is your strategy for uh, overcoming some of those? Thank you for the question. First of all, yes, there is a regulatory uh, uh, issues with using nanoparticles. Two, two ways we are attacking them. One is uh, we are um, laminating the nanoparticles. Our, our uh, coating will be laminated in between two layers of polymers and therefore it won't have direct contact with the food. And the second is part of what we're seeing today is that our coating, the CNC, actually blocks the nanoparticles from moving outside. And that can be something else for the future. So we can actually uh, enable the use of nanoparticles in very sensitive uh, products.